Good morning. Today we're going to be um, dealing with quadratic word problems in this video. In this specific type, we're dealing with we call it Pythagorean triangle. Um, so in this problem, it says the large leg of a right triangle is one feet longer than its smaller leg. The hypotenuse is two feet longer than the smaller leg. How many feet long is the larger leg? So I like for my let statement for this one, I like to just draw a picture. Um, so I'm going to draw a picture of a triangle. So there goes my triangle. And it's a right triangle. So we know the opposite side of the 90 is my hypotenuse. This is my short leg. This is my long leg. Uh, my short leg, they don't tell us anything about it, so I'm going to call it X. Now the larger leg of the right triangle is one feet longer than its smaller leg. So it's going to be X plus 1. The hypotenuse is two feet longer than the smaller leg, so it's two feet more than that. So this is x plus two. So in this problem, in order to find out what x is, we need some type of relationship, some type of formula that is always true about this specific type of right triangle and its size. And a lot of you probably remember Pythagorean's theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared and where c has to be your hypotenuse so for my a I'm going to have that be my small leg for b my middle leg or my larger leg and for c will be my hypotenuse which is x plus 2 squared and then we just solve the problem so we have x squared And I'm going to solve this x plus 1 squared. Remember, x plus 1 squared means x plus 1 times x plus 1, which means we need to do the box. So we're going to have x plus 1, x plus 1. Draw my little box up. We know that's x squared, 1x, 1 times x, 1x, 1 times 1, 1. So we get x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we do the same thing with x plus 2. So remember x plus 2 squared means we write it out as x plus 2 times x plus 2. And we have an x plus 2 on the top, an x and a 2 on the side. We get x squared, we get 2x, we get 2x, and we get 4. So we get x squared plus 4x plus 4. So I'm going to write that over here. So we get x squared plus 4x plus 4. Um, so the next thing we want to do, we want to go ahead and try and combine like terms. So the only like terms I see is here and here. So we get 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4. As y'all can see, we have x squared terms. So the key when you have x squared terms, you want to move everything to one side. Um, so I'm going to move everything to one side so we have 0 on one side. So I'm going to subtract x squared. There's x squared term here. It's so the minus x squared. I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4x. So minus 4x. Remember what you do to one side, you do to the other. What you do to one side, you do to the other. And we have minus 4, so minus 4. And draw my little line here so we don't get confused. x squared minus x squared is 0. 4x minus 4 x 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. So I'm going to write 0. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 2 minus negative 4 is negative 2x. And then 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. So now all we have to do is factor this. Right? If we factor this, then we can set each factor up equal to 0. And then we can find out which one is a reasonable solution. So if you notice, a is 1 which is great, which means we can quick factor. So I'm going to go ahead and break it up into 
the quick factor answer. So we have x and we have x. Then all I have to do is figure out what are my two numbers here. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. So we have what two numbers multiply to give me negative 3. Slide it up. And then also what two numbers add up to give me negative 2. So I'm going to go write negative 3 here. I'm not really worried about the negative right now, but we have 1 and 3. Um, 1 times 3 is 3. When we add these together, we do not get 2, but when we subtract them, we get 2. So I'm going to write 1 and 3. In order to get this negative 2, we know the 3 needs to be negative, because 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2 and 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Remember, do not worry about which one is negative until you get to the addition part. I'm telling you, it will save you a headache. But anyway, I'm going to put my positive 1 and my negative 3 here. Then we set each one of these equal to 0. So we have x plus 1 is equal to 0. And we have x minus 3 is equal to 0. Um, so on this one, we subtract 1. So we have x is equal to negative 1. This one we add 3 on both sides, so we get x is equal to 3. Um, so since we're talking about a length, right, when I'm trying to find the length of this triangle, if I take a ruler and I try and measure this, I will never get a negative inches or negative centimeters or negative feet. That will never happen. So anytime when you're dealing with a measurement, you cannot have a negative measurement, which means our answer is going to be this 3. So since our answer is the 3, we know when you're going to draw a new triangle, basically looks the same. And for our x, we know it is 3. For our x plus 1, we're going to do 3 plus 1. And we know 3 plus 1 is 4. And for our hypotenuse, we're going to do 3 plus 2, which is 5. So now we have all the sides done. But when we go back to the question, it says, how many feet long is the larger leg? So the larger leg is this one, right? Because that's the hypotenuse, and this is the small. So our large leg is 4 feet. So our answer would be the large leg is 4 feet long. And that's your answer. Um, I really hope that this video helped. If you have any further questions, um, please feel free to watch the video over again.